Good luck. Of Germany, his first attempt in the javelin. Yeah, I'll do everything, don't worry. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Kuba. Who is? What's that mean? Marek, what level would you say you're on now? Uh, level 25 and a half. <laughs> no, on a level, come. I'm a fitter, innit? I just you say you're fit. I am a fitter, but I just got to learn a couple more things. Like join, vinyl as well. Um, harder carpets, for example, like Sizal. Um, Herringbow carpet as well. So would you say, yeah, out of all the companies you've been to, because Marek came back, yeah? Oh, no. we, we've got to be honest. Marek oh, no. went and came back. And uh, what, what have you got to say about that, Marek? Well, I don't want to disrespect any company. Cause you don't all, have to say any names. Yeah, yeah, they all work differently, let's say. But the way we fit, no one fits. I'm from East London, so there's a lot of people in a lot of companies in Lost East London. I've been to most of them and they all fit crap, in my opinion. They're all crap. Um, yeah, so I shout you that Sal again. I said I want my job back because I just don't want to do this crap fitting. Not, um, not a good way of stretching bolstering, cutting carpet, bringing up carpet, no system, just rubbish. So who's the best fit in East Ham? I mean, East Ham or East London? East London. <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Marek, quick one. This is Marek's job on Saturday. He's got like 12 winders? Nine winders and 14 straights. Nine winders and 14 straights. And what carpet is that? Let me see your knowledge, bro. What carpet is that? Let me, wait, don't say anything. Let me see the backing. Here's the backing. What's the backing? I think Fabian should tell us. No, I can't. What's the backing? Is it woven backing? And I oh, think it's bell twist. You're right, my G. You're right. Yeah, yeah, come on. What backing is that? I don't know where it's very sexy, you know? <laughs> it's sexy. <laughs> Eddie, you're still doing that, bro. Two hours later. How's it going, guys? Sal from Trim and Tuck Carpets. Today, we want to do a little review on all the vans and just go through them. There's nothing special to be honest with our vans, the way we've set it up, but everyone's been asking van tour, do us a little van tour, how your setup looks. So on this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you all of our vans, starting from, I just bought the van. Starting from right, middle and left. We're going to show you where we keep our grippers, where we keep our concrete, uh, grippers where we keep our bars where we keep our the, the, what ply to raise the bars where we keep our long bars nine foot three foot where we keep our underlay where we keep our tools where we keep our where else josh what else do we have in the vans carpet where the carpet goes where the vacuum goes, huh? Where the glues go, where the straight edge goes. Where... Where the spray, you whispering? Spray glue. Where the spray goes. <laughs> He's going like this. <laughs> where the spray goes. Um, where else? Where the flexi fix goes, where the grip adhesive goes, where the... Gripper gun glue thingamajig goes. Without spoiling anything else, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight into the video. And before we go into the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Yusuf, you wanna do the honors? Let's start with your van, come. Let's start with your van. Yeah? You gotta speak up a bit, because there's a bit of loud noise in the background. So basically, this is my van. Our bars low here. We made these custom made holes. We've got our Zs, our singles, our doubles, in both silver and gold. Got some wood grippers. Normally, uh, my concrete grippers go here, but um, yeah, I haven't stocked it up. Um, I've got some plywood, which we raised door bars with. We've already cut them to size to save some time on jobs. Should we test it and see if you've cut them correctly? Bring a door bar out. Oh, no. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> So they're cut to size and they're a bit, well that's a bit wonky. 
Oh, you get the idea. It's delicious. So, that's the bars. All right, what else? You just come, let's keep yes. going. Uh, yes. We go on the left side. We've got our glues. We need to stuff up on some spray glue. And then we have them here. Our flexi for concrete jobs. We've got our paper that we put down before we put underlay down to like, prevent dust from coming up. Oh, we have Josh's spoon over here. Mm -hmm. the king of the why do you have a spoon? What's that for? It's too... Josh, why do you have a spoon? <sighs> I, don't know, spoon. What, I don't know what he does with that. <laughs> and it does... I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> so is it lunch on? Oh, you yeah. just explain this carpet. What's this, what's this furthermore? This is our roof, right? We've got a roll out the back to help put carpets up there easily. So when you push the carpet, it's basically saying this rolls and then it can just help the carpet go up. So where do you keep your nine foot bars? Nine foot bars we put on the left side. We've got one of these rhino tubes. We got it in gold as well with trim and tuck on the side. Branded, branded. Yeah. And yeah, you just open it up. All our long bars go in there. Whose carpet is this? This is the boss Josh's mum's. Josh's mum's. And this goes. This is our underlay. Our underlay goes on the right. Mom, don't say I don't look after you. <laughs> Company expenses. <laughs> and normally our carpets are on the left. Today we've got some whipping that needs to be done, which we're going to rob our man for the job. Oof, you just spit some bars there. <laughs> Hit a little 16. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go around, let's go around. Come you, let's go around. So what van is this? This is our Ford Transit. We had an old one before but had a few problems, so we had to get a new one, get it all signed up again, and now it's all good. So this is Yusuf Van, by the way. Oh no. Can't really get it. You can, you can come. Oh! Alright, Yusuf, we're here. Talk to me. Right, so why, is that, why is that so messy, bro? At least you should have got it. It'd be better to for the video. Going to your job right now. We need our top saw for today's job anyway. This is all our tools. Our hoover goes in there. So there's a little compartment where the hoover slots in. It's nicely curved and everything. And then we have our tool bags. This is Josh, mine, and my fitting bag as well. This, I have my Captain America shield. What is that? You're going to have to explain that because people are going to get confused. <laughs> this is my steering lock for when I go home. And yeah, the chop saw that we need for today. That's about it. We have our straight edge on the wall. We've How's that on the wall? Magnetic holders, basically, two holders. You showed all of these? Oh, Josh, yeah. what's that? This is a, this is a, what do you call this? Custom made mini stretcher. It's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this is called Yusuf. Just a small mini stretcher. We've got the grip adhesive, spray glue, spray glue. What's that here? This is for double sticking. Boys, what's that? What's that? Behind the pad. <laughs> this is a shim, ladies and gentlemen. So sometimes you get a tile, um, bathroom tile, sometimes it comes with like a centimeter, two centimeters thick, depending on your, some people get under 40 and really thick tile. So what this is, it's like a slow ramp to build up to the tile to end it with a nice threshold. Uh, yeah. Maybe a Z bar. This is a thicker one. Yeah, sometimes we double it up, depending. Well, they, they come in different sizes, to be honest. So that one's a thicker one. That one's a thinner one. You can get them on all different sizes, which are here. So we just have them on a van, just in case. Dependent, yeah. Uh, who's in the next van, Yus? Whose van is this? This one is Markadesh, Markadesh. All right, let's get Eddie. Right. And we have Edison here. Uh, so Eddie, this is your van. First, introduce the van. What van is it? What brand is it? Benz Vito. Never gonna die. Solid, solid van. As you can see, we have the same. So basically, the just sorry, to, sorry to cut you. Yeah, no uh, Eddie has not heard what um, um, Yusuf just said about his van. So now, Eddie, introduce the van, the way you know the van, all right. and all that stuff. So here, it's the same system. It's the same system that we've got here, because uh, uh, as you know, my boss is a bit fixated. With angles and cuts and you know what I mean so basically here's the gripper box gripper boxes concrete and the premium QA uh, medium pins grippers and here we've got the same system as in the other vans so silver uh, single gold single 
Gold, uh, silver double. Did you see gold double. <laughs> Where's the silver double? These are Z bars. Yeah, basically we run out of doubles. So we need to stock up some more. And here, as as you can see, as I told you, my boss is very fixated. So he likes to do these angles and these cuts. The same on every van. So yeah. And uh, so, what is this platform for? You gotta explain, like, this what is everything used for? So here we put the underlay. The underlay all goes on top here, piled up. So it's just more easier to take out because it's a bit higher. So when you carry it on the shoulder, it's more easier to lift off from here. And also here we've got uh, some ply that we use to raise the door bars. It's already being pre-cut, so it's just more easier to just. Put it, on, put it on the door bar, bang bang, then put a door bar on top. Yeah. Over on this side, I've got a selection of uh, Bond <laughs> adhesive. James Bond. <laughs> yeah, James Bond. Okay, carry and, on. And uh, here we've got some spray glues. Here we've got a scraper to prepare the subfloor. Why you got so much spray glue? Some more spray glue, just in case we run out. And here is where we keep the the paper. What's paper used for? Paper is used for uh, before you put underlay. Use the paper so that dust or dust or any particles come from the wooden floor underneath, so it doesn't go on the carpet. So that goes there, it's secured here with a bit of more ply. Here we go, that's not gonna go anywhere. And here we've got um, a magnetic holder. We usually have our straight edge here. Yeah. However, because we're doing a clean up, uh, we're just trying to sort out all the vans. Is that why everything's all over the place? Yeah, that's why it's a bit messy here. For the all right, cool. Come out, let's see. What else? What's the difference with this van and the other vans? Uh, different makes, different models. Uh, so these were your three foot bars, where are your nine foot bars? Our nine foot bars are all the So we've got the same here. setup here. <laughs> okay, Eddie. Yeah. Um, so uh, tools. Our tools also. Because this one is uh, the two sides. Okay, so it's, this is the difference. Yeah, this now. has got two doors. So I, I usually put them here on the left because on the passenger so when we get out of the van we're at the job just straight away the apprentice can just take it and just straight away to the front door and just go inside what van do you prefer the ford or the mercedes uh the, the mercedes it's why double doors is that what you like about yeah, it more easier to get in and out double doors cool all right thank guys, you very much see you next time All right guys, so that's the two vans. Now we're back to my van. My van don't have a roof rack on at the moment because I go in a lot of undergrounds that are two meters in, in height. So I try to, I haven't put on my roof rack on yet. I don't really need it at the moment. Generally they load up on the roof racks and then I'll come after. So with that, with that being said, let me show you my van. It's very similar. my water's here but anyway this is my van i got a lot of samples in my van because uh, i do a lot of measures and i do fitting as well because i can't leave fitting it doesn't matter what well, anyone says i'm going to be fitting when i hit the grid what do you say about that perfect so right let Never me just set, stop. let me just let me just show you through exact same setup i'm running low on bars we're just doing a clear up that's why all the vans are all over the place bars as eddie said all here now these are designed in such a way that these bars they won't go back so you won't lose a bar it's going to be always there you can see what you need what's that man and uh yeah that's all the bars that's a door we cut that needs to go in the skip so i write wooden concrete just in case people get them mixed up 
However, we've got concrete only here. I don't know why, <laughs> but in I've carpeted my van uh, with an entrance mat in. It needs a bit of a vacuum, just to give it that bit of cozy feeling. So if you're coming, I'm working to my crib. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. So I've got my stretcher here, my mini kicker, I've got duct tape, I've got Jantac, I've got my pad felt and random water. Flexi fixes needs topping up, spray glues uh, just for them areas that you need. My tool bag is in one spot. So this is my tool bag. These are my tools. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek here. Yeah? These are my tools. I should do a review on this tool bag because this is the best tool bag that I've got. I've had a box. I've had a bag, I've had a, I've had a box bag. I've had things that you just, this is the best one. This is the best one. So if you not want to see a video on this, a review on this tool bag, yeah? Comment down and let me know. Honestly, if you don't want to see a review on this tool bag, because it's got a lot of few things that I like about it, let me know. So put that here. I got my vacuum, which is meant to go there, but it's a mess. Uh, the best vacuum in the market for carpet fitting is a Henry and anything like it, a Hetty, a Betty, all of them ones, yeah? They're the best because they're just solid, man. They're just solid. So Henry, sponsor Trim and Tuck, we'll do some more videos for you. Uh, samples, we've got some samples here. This is that new stuff from Alternative Flooring, No Bother Sizal. Um, I believe it can be stretch fitted and it can be stuck down and it's just like sandpaper um, uh, so that's that anyway so all my samples are there uh, the good thing about these vans which Yusuf never showed you is it's got this little compartment where I keep all my pipe detectors um, so if you've got any, if you've got a concrete floor or anything you can you can detect the pipe with this with this little tool I've got my nail gun I've got my heat gun I've got my glue gun what else? I've got other things in there. So that just stays there. So whoever wants to rob this van, everything's under there. Um, extension lead and everything generally is all around. The van is a bit more tidy than this. Unfortunately, it's just raw organic um, uh, content. So you can get the gist of what we do. Uh, these are stair rods, uh, uh, premium door bars that I show my customers. Um, uh, steroids, if you can send me another one of these because they're battered, I'll really appreciate it. But if anyone knows about steroids, then they know that they're a solid company. If you don't know about steroids, steroids UK Limited, the best bars, the best trims, the best rods, the best uh, accessories for flooring. To be honest, it's one of the best companies that I know that do these kind of things. And that's steroids. Now, where else is the van got? Is that it? Uh, I think so. And generally, guys, that is our van tour. Um, if you lot have anything that you've added to your van that we can add, let us know. If you lot like anything from our van that you're going to add to your van, also let us know because it's nice. It's nice to know that we've um, uh, helped someone with an idea. Uh, it's not the best. It's not the best um, set up, but it, it works for us. And the reason why we've let every single van be the exact same, one, it's just easier. Two, when a van breaks down and Josh wants to jump in another van, it's the same setup. So he knows where to fill up, what to fill up, how to fill up. Do you know even what I mean? For like, even for like new apprentices. Even for like new apprentices. Anyone that comes, every van is with the same layout. So the silvers are where it is, like the door bars, the thresholds, the golds. Everything's in the same position, so what's he saying? So yeah, that's the reason why. This is, I don't know, Eddie's pointing at this. This is a mini kicker. I don't know if anyone's seen it. So this is the exact same. Uh, I know a lot of people are gonna ask about this mini kicker. These are the exact same stretches, yeah? So there's a the exact same GT2000 stretches, yeah? From Roberts. We've chopped this down. So if you wanna know how this is done, go to my previous video something about mini stretcher I'll try to put it up here or put it up there the editing guy will put it somewhere so if it's there or there you'll see it 
If it's not, then it's in the descriptions. That's the main one. So if you want to know how that's done, check that video out. Also, this is just a mini stretcher to get in the mini areas. Oh, look who's coming. And uh, stop the recording. Oh, here's my edit guy. What are you saying? The original. Yeah, original. Oh, you've got to show the guy, bro. The original. <laughs> Will's in the building. Well, like that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of people have said it, so we thought, you know what? Let's do a video of showing our vans so um, everyone can see them, uh, see how we set it up, and hopefully get some ideas. And if you've got any ideas, show us. One guy, I remember, I don't know what country, I think New Zealand, he sent me a link where he done a YouTube video of how we fit stairs. From our videos, and these things are nice, man. It softens my heart. So, Aww. guys, reply back with videos, comments, advice. If you need advice, we'll try our best. But it's been a pleasure. My name's Sam. Record is Eddie, and that's Josh. And until next time, trim and tuck car fixes. Out. Yeah, my boy, some chicken and chips and gum car fixes as well, bro. And all that. <laughs> this not he's not part of us, yeah? He's gangster. <laughs> so this hat should uh, edit that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, bro. I'm an I